Hey everyone, it's Tanya checking in here on this lockdown. Um, we're gonna do a little channel. Um, part of my channel is called Any Topic with Tanya. Um, I did have a few people reach out. Um, they wanted to know some things, so um, I'll go over them. Um, first off, if you have any comments or questions about anything that I talk about, um, or you feel that I should talk about, um, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell at the bottom there so you'll get alerted whenever I post a new Any Topic with Tanya or any other video that I post. And I will be posting two videos today. So Any Topic with Tanya, and then we're gonna jump back into what I was talking about before. So I've been getting a lot of questions um, on myself about being an extrovert. Um, I'm totally an extrovert. I feed off people and their energy and I'm super positive about that kind of stuff and you know you always feel positive when you have positive energy around you. Um, I, With being an extrovert and being on lockdown I've come to realize that I'm actually getting more task done and I'm not really thinking about things that I shouldn't be thinking, like intrusive thoughts about my past or anything. So um, I do find myself doing a lot more projects here recently. Um, this is one of them. Um, I also have painted a little bit here and there, redecorated, bought um, stuff for the bedroom finally. And so that part is real, I'm going really well. Um, the social distancing though, it kind of affects me. I'm not good at following directions apparently because six foot lines are in every store now and I am not very good at standing on the line. Um, I'm just, I'll just have to get used to it. I'm sure that it'll probably be going on for the next maybe year, um, hopefully a lot sooner, you know, hopefully by fall all this is over with and done. But um, I'm curious about other extroverts and what you guys have kind of done um, in order to keep yourself busy. Um, just comment those below because that might help somebody else out that's an extrovert and don't really know what to do with their self. I know my first couple of weeks was really, it was really hard on me and um, just not being around my friends or not being able to kind of go and please kind of go and, and do what I please. So with this um, being on lockdown, I found myself shopping online a lot more. Um, Amazon is my best friend as everyone that knows me knows. And um, so I've been waiting on little packages to come here and there to kind of pass the time, make it a little more fun. Um, I also have been walking my dogs a ton. Um, I actually fell down the stairs a couple of days ago and twisted or sprained my foot. Um, thank God I don't think anything's broken in there, but um, so I haven't been watching or walking them as much. So it's been kind of put on my boyfriend. So today I'm going to take them out for some walks. Um, another thing that I do in order to stay like socialized is I use FaceTime a lot. I text, I call. Um, a lot of us didn't get to spend Easter with our families this year. That we're not. A lot of the students, all the students, are not going to graduate for 2020. They missed their proms. They missed. They're going to miss graduation, and that's just terrible. Um, you know, especially for those kids that worked so hard, kept up the good grades. Maybe the valedictorian. She's not going to. Or he. She's not. They're not going to be able to make their speech now. You know, things like that. So um, we really got to look at the people that are actually. It's affecting more than just like us that are just kind of. We're sitting here. Um, we're kind of just holding out because the people that have, you know, they had big plans. I know a woman that had to cancel her wedding just because of this virus. So um, things like that, we just gotta be cautious, you know, do the six foot rule. If I hear wash your hands one more time, as an adult, we should all know to wash our hands, um, but it's good for the kids to learn and hear it, I guess. So um, I think personally, another thing is, I think introverts are having a harder time from what I've experienced with my boyfriend who is an extreme introvert. Um, he loved it for the first couple of days, um, just kind of getting out of bed, going to the other side of the house and just getting in his, you know, going in his office and there. Um, but now he's actually, um, he went to work today. <laughs> they told him it was optional and I think he either is trying to get away from me because I'm such an extrovert or he's just ready to get back to work and be around his friends and stuff like that. Get some little bit of, um, interaction with somebody else other than me and kind of just talk shop. So, um, he's an IT, so I don't really talk shop with him. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been kind of experiencing and seeing so far. Um, and like I said, if you're an introvert, drop it below on the comments and tell us what you guys have been doing to keep it, keep your sanity. I would love to hear other ideas. Um, 
I would totally love to hear other ideas that way maybe something will spark and then I'll be like oh I want to do that also um, I feel like with just for right now with the social distancing um, I feel that's a really good move I don't know who all open today um, I know a lot of like healthcare open today a lot of um, offices and I know on the 12th we're supposed to start opening up like businesses retail myself personally um, I am in retail but I work in a mall so I'm still kind of on the back burner trying to figure it out like day by day that's one other thing that I'm really bad at doing is like not having the answer for a question that I have that's the worst to me so that's kind of been kind that's been pretty hard um, I would say that's probably the hardest if I had a time and a date, like, hey, you are not going to be going out until this date, then I'd be okay. But being in a mall and being a store in a mall, I don't know how that's going to really work out for myself. But I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. I hope everybody gets back to work soon and they stay safe and all the babies are safe. Um, and I will see you guys soon. I'll probably be posting another any topic with Tanya in a couple days. So if you have any questions or comments, please, please give them to me. That way I can have some ideas on what to talk about. And the juicier, the better. So um, don't want to keep having to talk about this lockdown. I want to talk about something more fun. So grab a glass of wine, watch my video, and have a great night. Thanks, guys.